Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and Barbecue TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Barbecue. Let's get it done. As always, this series is inspired by the Roll for Sandwich series. All right, let's roll for meat. Six, we're making another burger. This is awesome. This is our third burger on the Roll for Barbecue series, so we're going to use an 80-20 chuck patty. Roll for seasoning. Three, Flavor God. I love Flavor God seasonings. Let's see which one we're going to be using today. Four, Himalayan salt and pink peppercorns. I think this will pair very nicely with the burger patty. Season on both sides and let it rest for 30 minutes. We're grilling this thing on the char griller auto come out of grill. All right, roll for cheese. Three, pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack is a solid choice for burgers. Don't get that shredded stuff. I like to cut it right off the block. Once you cut off a few slices of cheese, go ahead and throw it on top of your burger patty. As promised, we're rolling for bread with our four-sided dice. Two, pumpernickel bread. I've never used pumpernickel bread on a burger, but there's a first time for everything. Roll for roughage. Two tomatoes and 12 corn. All right, this seems like a little bit of a Southwest appeal. I'm gonna throw that right onto the cheese so it doesn't fall off the burger. Then we're slicing up some tomato. All right, roll for wild magic. 18, roll twice. Okay, let's see how it fares. 15, black beans. And now for the second roll. Eight, leftovers. I was worried about the corn, now I gotta worry about these beans. And somehow, I'm gonna throw on another handful because I don't think about my actions. Now that we got these beans precariously laid out, we're gonna throw on our leftovers, which is Leo's french fries. And it's a mess. All right, let's do our D20 sauce roll. 14, vinegar barbecue sauce. All right, I like that. We're gonna go with Killer Hogs vinegar barbecue sauce. It's one of my top favorites. Throw the top on without knocking off any more of these toppings. We're gonna give it a slice. And of course, we gotta check out that cross section. It doesn't look too bad, but let's see how it tastes. Literally, after all that struggle, you can't even taste the french fries or the black beans. In hindsight, I think a flour tortilla shell would have made this burger much more structurally sound. So, for the struggle, we're gonna give this a 7.1 out of 10 and call it the Santa Fe Dumpster Fire. This closes out episode 10 of the Roll for Barbecue series, and we'll see you next time.